heritage is uh, my mum is from South America, Guyana, um, and my dad is British. Um, my background is quite mixed. Uh, I'm half German and half Ghanaian. So what, what do I say when people ask me the question where I'm from? <laughs> well, I think it's, um, it's a tricky one because I always kind of think, well, what do they want to hear? I would say that I'm black British. I was born here. I'm not ashamed of saying that. The answer to that, I'm, I'm a British Asian theatre director. My heritage is uh, Jamaican. My parents are both from a small village in Jamaica and I'm part uh, Scottish, uh, Jamaican Indian and Jamaican. I'm from South London and my parents are from Nigeria but I was born here in England. I'm mixed race, I'm half Indian, half Zambian. The Beyond the Canon project is a necessary and much needed extension of the work that we do. Um, we usually carry out at Artistic Directors of the Future. I met Samelia Hodge Dalloway who runs Artistic Directors of the Future and she had the proposal for Beyond the Canon um, to kind of m mount a, a staging of various of the monologues from the, her audition book for um, Black, South Asian and Middle Eastern actors. You know, you look at any, through any of these writers' works and you are bound to find voices and experiences and depth and colour and humour and sadness and humanity. It's a pleasant surprise and I think it's fantastic. I think any project that works on putting people who don't have a voice in the spotlight is a great project. A lot seems to be expressed in terms of diversity for actors, but specifically for, for directors as well. It's something that I just hadn't heard of. But it's also important for people to have roles that they kind of feel match with their own background at times, and that they feel represent their own experiences in the world. And I think that's what Beyond the Canon does so well. It's very important because it's, it's offering me monologues that I wouldn't have otherwise found, I don't think. I was really attracted to the chance to work with RADA students because they're the new generation and they've, they're coming from a variety of backgrounds and I find that really exciting. It was nice to be able to play a character that was black. I know that sounds strange. It's al it almost feels sometimes like you have, to do a, you have to do an extra thing to convince yourself you're that person because essentially you're black. So when you go in front of an audience and you're playing Henry V, it's just something just doesn't register with them. Beyond the Canon is, is, is there to immortalise some of the most important stories of our time. I'm excited to work on it because when I was training, I was the only black girl in my year. I was the only black girl for the rest of the three years. I never met a black director. I never had a black teacher. Theatre is about uh, imagining the world from other people's point of view and we can only do that if we're working with a diverse range of plays. It's about bringing people together. If all the flowers in the garden are the same colour, you don't have the greatest garden in the world and I think um, a place like Rada should really be seeking to have a really great colourful garden. Rada is the first drama school that has um, stepped up, if you like, to the plate to provide a space, a home for this work and this exploration of work that exists beyond the canon. I really do leave the door open for other institutions, for other training institutions to 
jump on board. The first time that I played a role that was specifically for a black actor was here at RADA. They were actually in my year, I think there was a bumper year of BAME students. So I think that actually in terms of diversity we were doing rather well. Uh, it's great I think for our students, um, both the ones who are participating and for the graduates we have participating as well, but also for the rest of the student body who can come and see the work. This project is a lot bigger than when I had this idea to do this many years ago, to be honest with you, but now it's actually here. It means something that I can't even properly articulate how much this means. I think I became aware of um, the importance of my identity and heritage uh, in my final year at school, because we started discussing about casting. It kind of came to me as more of a surprise. So the first play I did was a play called uh, Market Boy. It was played by uh, David at Eldridge. How is my research different? Because before I just kind of go oh, like historically, but for me I was like, right, right. I never really looked at my own history. I mean, I had as a person, but I never looked at it in terms of like uh, work. In regards to diversity, I think the theatre scene has a long way to go. I think we uh, have made great inroads, but there is still a long way to go in that we um, need to see more than one brand face per production. There isn't a lot of opportunities for black actors, but I think it's getting a lot better. You can only use yourself to make a piece of work and uh, and it's really important to to make the work you do really personal and, and specific to you and I enjoy that. As we were doing our tech run yesterday I saw many of the actors come up to me individually and inform me how they have never they've never done a text that was written for them. I guess it's about having a voice and having a voice that's your own. We don't want to kind of create a divide and say, well, black plays are for black actors and, and white actors don't need to have anything to do with them. I think we're looking at a dialogue. Stuff is distributed. There's what men get, then there's what women get, then there's what people of colour get. I would like to eventually just play a part that the prerequisites and idiosyncrasies have nothing to do with the skin colour because in real life they don't. You have to acknowledge the platform that this place is um, and what that communicates to other young, aspiring black actors. When you pick something you, like that, you know that, that you have the complete right to play that part. No one will question whether you're suitable for it. What I'm sorry about is that it took a couple of years of thinking that I can play any character to suddenly coming to my last year and being told this, it might be specifically this. It's sometimes a little bit of a shame when, you know, you go to a bookstore looking for plays and you're kind of looking for classics. And I always wonder how a classic has been defined. We know as human beings, you know, we're all sort of like running on the same, the, 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 the same engine, if you like, so. I thought that as a director, I didn't want to see myself in my work. But what I've discovered by, by doing this work, actually, I do want to explore my own identity. I think that we have an incredibly diverse industry. I just don't think we necessarily have the plays that are being produced to actually show, you know, to have, to give the voice to those actors. I think you should celebrate that because it means that you're a little bit different and it gives you it gives you something different to work with. 
just regularity. I'm thinking once a month. My first introduction to sort of how diverse theatre can be was here. Yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't played a part that's specifically f for my my ethnicity. Um. It was the first time that I was in a play that was a full black cast. I don't know why, but it was such a unique experience. It, it, it just seems strange that that has to be a unique experience. Doing acting work, that's something which I'm passionate about doing, I love doing it. But for me, that's the vehicle for the change. I think there are barriers in all levels of society. I don't think it's unique to the theatre and um, film and television industry. I think theatre, film and television industry should be leading on breaking down those barriers. There's a level of commitment by the staff that makes me feel optimistic that this is not going to be the only event that happens. What I'm going to take away from this project is that, um, that there is always a way to bring in my experiences into the room um, in a way that is uh, safe and artistically rich. Beyond the Canon is a, a wonderful event to celebrate diverse writing, diverse performers and bring us all together. Uh, it was a white male writer wrote a part that starred, uh, uh, wrote actually a play that starred two middle-aged black women and he was actually told to rewrite it so the actresses didn't have to be black because the people in the theatre said, well, we can't find middle-aged black women. And I, um, I found that really hard to stomach. What Rod has done for me is it's made me realise that in order for me to be the best actor I can be, I need to be myself, which is a black man, a 32-year-old black man in this world. We have a large audience coming in to watch today um, and it just fills me up to know that they're each going to walk away with a, a piece of, uh, of history, a play that they had never, probably never encountered before. The very fact that we've established this relationship is the highlight for me. The best thing about this process for me is that I'm working with a truly diverse group of people. If you really have a truly artistic heart and a, a true love of the arts and theatre, there's got to be in you a desire to see all of life reflected. When I first started being a theatre director, the reason I wanted to do it was because I loved Greek plays and rock music and performance poetry. It wasn't because I didn't feel like my voice was being heard or that I was submissive or that I was part of a minority. And that's something that I've experienced by being in the industry. It's always brilliant working with students who are still in training and excited and fresh and that they excite you and their energy and joie de vivre is kind of, uh, it's wonderful. I love the idea of um, the richness of the monologues. When I went through the book, I was like, wow, like, it's kind of like, like how, how do I choose? These monologues that Similia's put together, they offer like an alternative canon of diverse plays, which reflect the world that we're living in. So with this Beyond the Canon project, this thing that we're doing here, I think it's, I think it's a brilliant way to get people to see that things are changing. The best plays and the best writing are British stories here. If we're talking about our country and our nation, they're British stories that happen to have voices of culturally diverse performers and writers. And ultimately, globally, they're human stories. I think Radha has made a real commitment to continue down the path of increasing our culturally diverse work and culturally diverse opportunities for our students. This is something we need to see more of. This is something that needs to be said and addressed. No, I, I just think everyone wants a fair chance at things and to, to feel like they have the right, as much as any other person, to 
do some good work. Rada's finest moment. Think about the future and, and my place and people like me in the industry. So pride, optimistic and fun. Yeah. To me it's about opening doors. That's only two words. Opening more doors, that's three. The three words I would choose for this project have, will be enlightening, daunting and inspiring say overdue, uh, important and groundbreaking. Inspiring, progressive and uh, union. Empowering, uh, exhilarating and motivating. If I was going to choose three words to describe beyond the canon, I would say it's relevant, powerful, and necessary. Excited, excited, excited. <laughs> Innovative, diverse, groundbreaking. Three words, it's unfair. <laughs> um, it's vital, refreshing, and critical. Excited, um, curious, <laughs> and enlightened. Mm -hmm.